Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to learn Higher Ground by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Sorry about the voice, I'm a little bit under the weather, but this is Guitar Lessons 365, so we have these free lessons every day of the year, so you just got to bear with me here. So <clears throat> anyway, we're going to start here on kind of a clean tone, standard tuning. He's got uh, his pickup on the neck pickup there, kind of gives it a little bit of a rounder sound. We're going to start here on this, um, these double stop here at the 12th fret on the B and the G string. Let me turn up. All right, so we got two upstrokes there. All right, now we're gonna have a lot of the muted uh, notes in between these. So what he's doing there is just kind of take all of your fingers, really, and lightly let them hold the strings so they kill, kill the sound of the strings. And then you're gonna do a quick down, up, down, up. I actually just start with the down, up at first. So we have this. All right, then we're gonna go to 14 on the B and the G string, so you can do that with your third finger. Then an upstroke on those two 12s, and then the 14 on the D. So we have this. One more time. All right, back to those two 12s with upstrokes. All right, now this, going from there, we're gonna do all right, we have 12 to 14 on the A, hammer on, and then play the two 12s on the G and the D together. So let's do that twice. All right, so, so far. All right, start over those two 12s. Same little lick we did there, and then we're gonna hold the, these 14s again. And you can just pick those repeatedly down up. While you're doing that, start bending it to, towards the floor, so you're bending both of the strings. Just kind of build tension all together. All right, then we kind of start the riff over again. Now we go after getting to that part where. It, do another one of those, and then back to the hammer on again. So it's a little bit different the second time through. All right, then we'll go back to those 12s, and we're gonna end this intro at least with the 14th fret at the B, G, and D strings barred with your first finger. And you're gonna play the 15th fret with your, your middle finger there on the B string. Play that chord twice, I mean three times and then lift up that second finger just to do the bar. So that's the intro. So when you're doing that riff, which happens a lot in the song, he plays it a little bit different every time. So there's a little bit of a variation. So the way you want to look at it is this. He's either doing a, uh, when he's starting the riff, he's starting with these two 12s. He's going to go from there to do that, that one lick, or he's going to come down here and do the hammer on from 12 to 14 over the two 12s on the D and the G. So that first half is always one of those options. He just mixes it up as he goes through. So we have, you know, you can choose each one you want to do. All right, the ending is where he changes the most. Sometimes we'll end it with the way we did in the intro. All right, sometimes I'll end it with that you're hitting each one of those chords three times. Or sometimes he'll end it just hitting each one of those chords twice. And just kind of killing it between each set of two. So you want to just, when you're going through and playing that riff, just... Just to kind of give it the same vibe, because he's doing something different every time. And that's how he does it live. He does, he's never doing it the same way twice. But he does have kind of a few endings he uses and a few uh, little beginnings he uses. So just, and of course, you're mixing in a lot of those muted notes too. So that's how you get the vibe of that whenever he's playing that riff within the song. Just mix it up. All right. From there, we get to the heavy rhythm, uh, which is pretty consistent throughout. So I'm going to switch back to the bridge pickup, kick in a little distortion here. It's going to sound like this.
All right, so that is just, just you can do straight alternate picking or you can do downstrokes if you, can, if you can do those fast enough. Um, whatever you want to do, it's on the low E string, hit six times, and then the power chord at the third fret, then at the fifth fret. So we have this. All right, now, when he plays that riff the second time he plays this big um, riff in the song, he adds some. Now, on stage, he actually has another guy playing this guitar part. Some nameless guitar player. And then he just hangs out here and does those little fills. So those little fills is just an, uh, it sounds like this when you get to it. You wanna try to do them both yourself. All right, so what's going on up here is just the 12th fret on the G, 15th on the B and the high E. So it's a little bar there. We do a little finger. So it's just down, up, down on those three strings. Remember, this is just going on on the whole time. All right, so from there we have this. All right, so once again, there's a lot of guitar layers in this song, so we're always kind of doing the one that's highest in the mix and has the most impact on the sound. So here we just have these two nines on the, the G and the D together. Hit that four times, kill it, just release the pressure between each hit. And then move it up to the 11th fret. So do that twice. Then take it down to the A power chord, just the open the string open power chord. And then he ends it with this chord, which is the 14th fret on the G and the D, along with the 15th fret on the B and the high E. Now you don't always have to hit that high E string, but at least these, the second, third, and fourth strings are the most important, but he does hit that high E in there sometimes. Then back to, back to that riff. All right, so all together. Now back to that um, same thing we did in the intro. Now uh, we also have uh, this bridge that happens a couple of times in the song. It sounds like this. To the song. So we have that's just to the se seventh fret on the A string twice. Then you play the fifth fret on the D string and just kind of slight bend, a little slight slow bend. Back to the seventh fret on the A. And then we have the low E string open three times, all with the 12th, the G, and the D again. We'll do that again. We have this. Once again, there's a lot of guitar layering going on this part. We're just playing the ones that are the most apparent to the, to the sound. And then we have this. So this next phrase through that part is so seven just by itself on the uh, D string. And then you play seven five on the D and seven five on the A. So we have this. So you play that seven five twice on the D and then once on the A and then back to that same ending all right the third time through so that is just picking seven again but this time on the A string then pull off seven to five and then pull off seven to five again and then just seven by itself so we have this same ending all right, then we're gonna go to the power chord of the second fret on the low E string, F sharp power chord. And then to this G major chord, 10th fret on the A string, barring across the 12th fret on the B, G, and the D. All together, slow.
back to that main riff. Now we also have, uh, within the song, when he's playing that main riff, when they're just kind of jamming around, he does it's kind of a variation on it like this. All right, so that's just basically playing, starting on the upbeat of the one. So we're just 12, 14, some mutes, and then the, those two 12s and the B and the G kind of slightly bent. All right, second time through. That's playing those two 14s. Do it a quick, hit it a couple times, bend it up. Bend it, bring it back down. Then 12 on the G, back to the 14. Kind of pull, pull off to that 12. So we have this. Back to this. So it's just a lot of this, it's very similar to the intro. You just do it with that. It's just when you come in with that 12, 14 is important. It's on the upbeat. All right, so that's just a little variation he's doing with the band. It's just kind of jamming towards the end. Um, and then the only other part we have to take a look at is that double time section at the very end. It sounds like this. All right, so we're basically just playing these double stops here, the 14 on the D and the A string together. This is quick alternate picking on that. And then we're gonna play 12 on the G and the D. Just hit it once, then 14 on the G and the D. Then back to those two 12s. So we have this. And just repeat that. He does it twice by himself and then four times after the band comes in. The last time, just hit these two 14s, just and slide it down. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a really cool, you know, little funk guitar workout, and obviously everything usually John Frusciante oriented is. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com. Bye bye.